Now, yes, we have, and, and the opportunity for that call is not yet. Uh, but we'll be patient. We understand their disappointment. And uh, that is the way you manage difficult issues. It's a difficult decision. It's a very difficult decision. And of course, we had to weigh up what would be the, the obvious disappointment to France. But at the end of the day, as a government, we have to do what is right for Australia and serve Australia's national security interests. And I will always choose Australia's national security interests first. Well, I welcome the fact that they've had that discussion and that um, was discussed between President Biden and I yes uh, yesterday. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that call took place. I'm, I'm glad that he was able to reinforce uh, not just from the United States perspective, but from all partners in, in this, this new arrangement, that we very much want to see not only France, but uh, all the nations of Europe, our like-minded uh, nations in Europe, playing a very important role in the Indo-Pacific. That's what it means for Australia. Um, and I think it's been very important uh, for the President to have that engagement. Australia um, decided not to proceed with a very significant defence contract. And uh, understandably, uh, we, we know that, that France is disappointed about that, and I think those issues will take uh, further time to work through than the ones that were being dealt with between the United States and France.